I'm here to present Assembly Bill 669, California's Sweetened Beverage Tax, which would impose an excise tax of one penny per fluid ounce on sweetened beverages such as sodas, energy drinks, sweet teas, and sport drinks distributed in California. The revenues generated would be directed to the newly created Children's Health Promotion Fund and allocated to statewide childhood obesity prevention activities and programs. The Board of Equalization recently estimated that upwards of $1.7 billion annually would be generated through AB 669. Childhood obesity is reaching crisis proportions in California and throughout the United States. And the leading contributor is the increased consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. Mr. Chair, might I demonstrate uh, briefly here with just an exhibit I have uh, this is a standard 20 fluid ounce uh, uh, bottle of soda. It contains the equivalent of 16 packets or 16 teaspoons of sugar. That's the equivalent amount of added sweetener in a 20 fluid ounce bottle. When you consider that there's been a 228% increase in caloric intake attributable to sweetened beverages since the 1970s, it's clear that these sugary drinks are the main driving force behind current obesity trends. As a consequence, we are already seeing a dramatic rise in obesity-related diseases, such as diabetes, heart disease, and other preventable chronic conditions. Without taking action today, the obesity crisis among children will be tomorrow's surge of chronically ill adults. And the costs associated with treating and managing these diseases will climb to unfathomable heights, which we will all shoulder. By targeting the biggest culprit among obesity trends with a small excise tax, the revenues created from AB 669 will be used to exclusively combat childhood obesity by providing needed resources to local schools, community-based nutrition, and state wellness programs. We can improve our children's lives and significantly reduce the amount Californians will be paying for treating chronic diseases in the future. It is my intent that AB 669 would increase the cost of sugary drinks with the tax being passed along to the consumer and putting their cost on par with beverages that are healthful. By increasing the cost of sugary drinks, my ultimate goal is to change the behavior of those consuming these beverages, similar to what has been achieved through the implementation of increased taxes on cigarettes. Additionally, the dedicated funding source for comprehensive childhood obesity prevention is intended to be similar to how California's tax on cigarette funds uh, leads to important abatement efforts. With money collected from the sweetened beverage tax, we will be able to start reversing obesity trends and do the things we know we should be doing to ensure that our children are healthy. We cannot afford to sit by while the childhood obesity crisis overwhelms our health care system and shortens our children's lives. We are all paying the costs of bad health trends in our state. We need to take action. A tax on sugary drinks is not a cure-all, but it can be a valuable tool in a broader public health campaign.